Hello everybody and welcome back to Anne Holifer. Today I have another unboxing and a little size comparison between one founding nest from High to Gans and another. Now before the video starts for real I would like to say that I have a discount code for High to Gans. The discount code is very simple ANTHOL10 or and HOL10. So if you go here over to High Tech Ants and use that little discount code, you'll get a 10% discount code. So a nice little discount code if you want. I said discount code a lot. Discount code? So coming into the video, I did an unboxing of the size small starter kit from High Tech Ants not that long ago. The size smallness was still quite, quite big actually. So I wanted to get the founding nest from High Tech Ants. So I went over to High Tech Ants ordered the 3D founding nest and I was nicely asked if I'd like the founding acrylic nest as well. And that's where we are today. So let's go unbox the package and see what's the difference. So now we're gonna unbox the nest itself. Let's just jump straight into it. And here we have it. So this is the founding nest in the acrylic version. And this right here is the founding nest in the 3D version. So as you can see, there's a lot of size difference, but let's talk at the difference you don't just see. So this right here is the new founding nest with its humidity sensor put on and blocked the entrance. And without the red plastic, the inside of the nest looks like this. So we're gonna start by getting a little bit close to the nest and seeing how the details are inside the nest. And this acrylic is very nicely cut. As you can see on the back side, we have the humidity sensor, which of course just clicks out with a pair of magnets and clicks in as well. A new thing that High Tech Ants is doing is, is using a hydration sponge. They haven't done this on their 3D products yet, but this is a new thing on their acrylic products. In some of the corners, there's also these small elevation changes. So if the colony wants to go up, they have the opportunity. Of course, the nest is also connected with magnets, like all of High Tech Ants' new products. And just in general, this is a really nice and solid build. So like every High Tech Ants product, it is very easy to unscrew the acrylic lid and clean inside the nest if you need to change the ant colony that lives inside, or just wants to clean it. So this is a side by side with the founding nest and the side small acrylic nest, but we're gonna look a little bit at that later. But firstly, let's take a look at the side by side with the 3D founding nest and the acrylic founding nest. So as you can see, there's a really massive difference on how these two products look. They have their own style and their own look. So taking a look around the nest, we on the front side, of course, have the nest entrance and we just pop on the red acrylic lid. The nest looked like this. So a side by side look from the left side looks like this, as you can see. The acrylic nest is lifted up, where the 3D nest isn't lifted up, but you have these detachable legs that follow the 3D nest. From the back side, we of course don't have anything on the 3D nest, but on the acrylic nest, we have the room for the humidity sensor. And of course, this just clips on with two magnets, like shown right here, and the humidity sensor is now fitted. On the right side of the nest, we have the humidity sensor for the 3D nest, where on the acrylic nest we don't have anything. So once again a side-by-side -side look. As you can see it's really a massive difference. The 3D nest is this open area nest, where the acrylic nest is built like a more natural look. 
and of course these two nests fit together perfectly with their magnetic connectors, if I could just figure out how to use them properly. So detaching these two once again, it's always nice and satisfying doing this, and that's one of the amazing parts of this high-tech ant product, is these magnetic clickers. But that's not what we're here to talk about right now, we're here to talk about the inside. So as I mentioned, the acrylic founding nest is a lot more natural looking from inside the nest. You can also see it's hydrated by a hydration sponge, which is of course replaceable if you unscrew the acrylic lid. Where in comparison, if we're looking at the 3D version, we have a plaster watering system, meaning that you put water into the plaster and the plaster observes the water and slowly lets it out. So when I ordered this 3D nest, I was also told that this plaster watering system would soon change to a sponge system and I should have a picture on the screen right now of how that will look. Just another thing to note between these two nests. In the nest entrance we have this very tight opening where the ants really have to squeeze in, which is of course nice because then the ants feel safe. But on the other hand, at the acrylic version we have this open entrance into this open nest. It is really two totally different nests. So while I'm putting on the legs for the 3D version, let's talk a little bit about the acrylic version on why it is so long. The good thing about it, the nest being long is that if you hydrate the right side, the ants can kind of decide where to be inside the whole nest. And on the same hand, if you heat up one side of the nest, the ants can also decide on what side to stay in. And with the legs being fitted, the nest looks like this now. And to connect the nest to the other nest accessories, we'll now need a step-down part. But with the step-down part fitted and a connector fitted once again, we can just connect the two nests once again. So everything just works really nicely together. That's one of the things I really like about high-tech ants, that all of their products just fit together. So after having a little bit of a side-by-side -side look with the acrylic founding nest and the 3D founding nest with legs on, Let's talk about the acrylic founder nest and the acrylic small nest. So this is the small and the founding nest side by side. It's very easy to see that the founding nest is around twice as small as the size small. So if your colony needs to expand, they'll have around twice as much space. And also here shown by me putting them on top of each other, pretty much exactly cut in half. So. Another thing that's very important to note is that the acrylic nest humidity sensors can detach and connect with each other. So you only need one humidity sensor for acrylic for an entire acrylic set. But on the other hand, a 3D nest version has these big round magnets, whereas the acrylic version has these small and long magnets. And that's a very important thing to note is that these two humidity sensors don't connect with each other. So a 3D humidity sensor only connects with a 3D nest and an acrylic humidity sensor only connects with an acrylic nest. Of course the humidity sensors are the same, they're both 3D printed, but it's just important to note that they don't just fit together as you want. So 3D to 3D and acrylic to acrylic. Very important. And that has basically been a little video talking about the new founding nest. Once again a size comparison between the small and the founding nest. If you like this video with high tech ants, I did an entire unboxing of the size small acrylic starter kit. And if you want to see that, head over to the link in the top right corner or down in the description. This is how the starter kit looks. So that has been it for this video. I hope you liked it. I find it very funny comparing these two different nest types really, really a lot between the one and the other. And if you want to buy any of these nests, you can get them from Heising Ants. There's a link in the description. And don't forget to use my discount code for 10% off HNTHOL10. But yeah, that has been it for this video. Hopefully I'll move my new Campanotus Floridus into the small founding acrylic nest. I'll start now to introduce them to it and hopefully they'll move pretty fast and hopefully I'll have a video about them pretty fast but you know you never know with ants 
but that's just something for the future. But yeah guys, that has been it for this video, so don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Bye!